we just put new bedding inside the pig and chicken palace and the pigs are super happy with it. It's clover on the left, dandelion on the right. The chickens are having fun. They're both above me. And next to me, there's Simon the Silky Rooster at the back of him. The little piglets are down here, buried in the pine shavings. Yep. So these are dandelion's babies, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. This one's cinnamon, this one's nutmeg, and this one here in the middle is ginger. She's smaller. Actually, I think I might have that backwards. This one's cinnamon. This one's nutmeg. Nutmeg's very fat and not as long. Cinnamon's very long. So today is January 4th. These little piglets were born on late on December 30th. And we have one of the chickens coming to pay a visit. Oh, cheep, cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. So this is um, wood chips and then hay. And now we've got some pine shavings on top. Yeah, yeah, this one's there. They love to stand on the pigs. We have Easter eggers, salmon fava rolls, white leghorns. I think those are white rocks. We have olive eggers. We have chicks, too. So counting our dog and four cats, we have 45, 46 creatures. Clover had a litter of two, but she is not, does not seem to be taking care of them. And dandelion's piglets are preventing them from eating. And then this morning, the little boy, uh, it was a boy and a girl. Uh, the little boy was nowhere around, so the little girl is currently inside getting fed. Hey, Dandelion! Dandelion! Good girl. She's nosing Ragwort here. Ragwort's lying down on here on the side. He's such a good boy. Oh, and here's Troublemaker. Pork chops. Pork chops is part. He's Durak, Landrace, and Yorkshire. And he and his sister, who's a pink pig, uh, are for the freezer very quickly. Although probably Clover will also be going. Ah, piggy bite. You are a troublemaker, boy. He's like a puppy. He's super playful. And the others keep him in line. He gets too rowdy. Not vicious, just trouble. Hey, Rags. Ragwort comes and nibbles on my boot if I don't give him attention. He knows better than that, but he wants me to pet him. Yeah, good boy, huh? No. That's pork chop nibbling on my boot. So if I don't give them attention, they come getting it other ways. Yes, right. Huh. Oh, I should come around to the other side so they, people can see you. So there's the p little piglets. Yeah, so let's see here. Well, one's one. 
I'm gonna have to do something to be able to tell them apart. This one's cinnamon, this one's nutmeg, that one's ginger. I can't see their whole body, I get them mixed up. Oh. Hey, ragwort. Ragwort is such a gentle fellow. He is such a good boy, huh? I'm sitting in the doorway of the winter housing here, looking out at pork chops. There's the salmon favorol, Easter agar. That's one of the chicks there, the white one in the middle. There's a white leghorn. That's clover. And bacon is the pink pig out there. Sorry for that was pork chop pulling on my belt jerked my hand. There's our single New Hampshire red. Gets picked on by everybody. And there's a few more out by the fence. But they're hiding behind the they're back there. Ragwort is enjoying a marrow bone. I think it was a ham bone from Christmas. Something. As you can see that marrow in there, huh? It's happy. Mm -hmm. Here comes Caesar coming to investigate. Explain those boxes over there. Oh, those Looks ugly like boxes? <laughs> those are toys for these wily little monsters who run around all day and cause trouble. They tear the boxes up. Carry them around like a parade. <laughs> you can see little shreds of cardboard. Fortunately, it's all biodegradable. And we'll just go to enriching the soil when they're done playing with it. What's really funny is when they bring it inside and whip their heads around and send everybody scattering. <laughs>